Do you think this title gives me pleasure? Do you think me writing that and you reading that makes me feel good? Of course not. But see, you are your worst enemy. It is your own laziness that's killing you. And I've said this once and I'll say it again. I'll stand by this. There is no ugly man. They're just lazy. If you knew you were ugly, let's say, let's start with the, the ugly dude. Let's say you're a two. I know I'm a two. Let's say I'm a two, I'm ugly. First thing I would do, I would start lifting weights like a madman. That's one thing I can control. And let me put things into perspective. According to research, I think it's only 25% of Americans exercise. Now, that's heavily skewed just because over half of them, their exercise is just walking or jogging, which really won't change your physique. When it comes to weightlifting, that weightlift every day consistently, it's about 8%. And out of that 8%, you gotta assume at least half aren't actually training for progressive overload, watching what they're eating, like being meticulous. So that means you just making the active choice today, progressively overload, hop on a training program, eat the right things, control what you eat, already puts you in the top 10% of men in that section already with that singular decision so if you were a, a, a two before you're easily a three four now with the six pack now i'm a three four i'm i'm still ugly let's change my wardrobe if you're wearing the same fits that you've been wearing since high school you got nobody to blame other than yourself whether you like it or not the clothing that you wear sends messages they say something about you and it is your responsibility to understand that and then manipulate that toward whatever you want you can start wearing things to send strategic messages for whatever situation you're gonna be in so if I was a four just with a six-pack I put on the right clothes that shows off my physique that are appropriate for every situation now I'm a five six let's say a five let's keep it conservative I'm a five okay I'm average now now I'm gonna be the man every damn room you enter should be your room. Even if you're a nobody, act like you're a somebody. Confidence, it's a man's shield of armor. Confidence is one of the strongest things that you need to develop that is completely under your control that will take that five, let's say now I'm a six, all right, now I'm getting into the upper high averages. I was a two a year or two ago, now I'm a six. Now I'm gonna focus on my craft. Look at every high earner and the top 10% of their field, lawyers. Doctors, entrepreneurs, actors, YouTubers, influencers. Top 10% are the ones making all the money. The rest, they're, they're doing nothing. Which means, whatever field you're gonna get into, you gotta be the best at it. You gotta focus on that craft. You gotta enter that top 10%. That means sheer and utter focus, right? Forget about vanity, forget about women, forget about pornography, forget about the, the pointless stuff that's not gonna help you with that ultimate goal of being in the top 10% of whatever industry you wanna penetrate. Take all that masculine energy that almost every 20 year old wastes and focus it on your craft. I promise you, you're gonna enter that 10%. So you were a six before, now you're a seven, eight. Right now you're a problem. This takes us to the last one, develop your charm. See, you can still be a weirdo. You can still be a complete weird ass with money and a six pack. It won't matter. You need to get to this point. And the easiest way to develop this, you gotta develop the art of small talk. You need to figure out how you can start conversations with people easily. And the only way you're gonna do that is with practice. So I don't care how shy you are. I don't care how low your confidence is. Now you practice. Now you go out right, to the bars, to the bookstores, to the coffee shops, to the parks, to the malls. I don't care where you go. Talk to complete strangers for all I care. Make it a goal. Every day you're gonna to talk to a stranger. It could be about nothing, because that's the point. You're learning how to captivate people, how to story tell, how to, how to have compelling conversation. And now you're charming. So that dude that was a seven, now you're an eight, nine. I promise you, if you feel ugly right now, if you feel like you're not enough right now, put everything I said into this video into practice for the next five to 10 years. Go put in the work and tell me if I lied. I already know. See, I already know most of you, I got you most of you tuned out. If any of you, after I said five to 10 years, flinched, did some sort of smirk, like you're questioning yourself like, yo, what the hell is this? This video's for you, I'm talking about you. This is not an overnight thing, right? And this is why I say people are lazy. It's not that you're gonna do it for a month and I'm the man, and, no, bro, it doesn't work that way. It was a five to 10 year process on this guy. Go back to my first YouTube video, watch that video. Watch that dude and now come watch this dude. Day and night. Right? Day and night. And that's because it's been 10 years. And I'm not done. I'm still working on myself. I just came from the gym. It's 6 in the morning. It doesn't stop. That's what I mean. Like, there aren't any ugly men. There's only lazy men.
always remember giant trip and fall but worms dig and crawl which are you